Good morning and welcome to the Mike Show for Sunday, July 23, 2023. 64 degrees at 7.50 a.m. And I'm your host, Fa Kamal. And there goes Mackie. I'm sitting here with Brother Pits and Co-Stars, Michael. Brother Pits and Co-Stars, Sullivan. Our coffee is brewing. Sam was just here, but he went inside probably to get a drinky. Princess Elsie is inside on Audie's bed in the living room out at camp. Kind of slept in this morning. Fell asleep at camp on Audie's bed in the living room at camp, and then moved up to the bedroom and laid down there and kind of half dozed for a couple hours anyway. And here we are. Got woke in the wee hours by a dog barking. And Bobby Sullivan, he wanted to lay down with me and he stood right on my stomach and wouldn't lay down. He's got a habit of doing that and he just stands there and he weighs like 23 pounds. So there's a lot of pain on that stomach when he's not laying down to spread out his weight. It's on his four contact points, his little feet, and it hurts. It gets hard to breathe. Hey, Bobby. So anyway, I couldn't fall back to sleep from that, and I went to, ended up just deciding to go try another bed to lay on. Oh, boy. I had a pretty good day yesterday. Let's do a recap from yesterday. Maybe hooking and jabbing there. Um... After coffee and wake-up time, I went to Marine Market. No, I didn't. I went to save a lot. I had to pick up a few things. And I conjured lentil soup, and I conjured salsa to take out to the lake for my sister. And what else did we do, honey? Took our recyclables back. And I was going to go for a bike ride bike ride ended up being out to the lake and I visited there for a while and then biked back to town and then regrouped here for a while and hung out with my loves and then went back out there for dinner and there was some frustration involved with that for me I don't know if it's something about that place if it's cursed it used to always be that way when my brother John was there and you'd get told dinner would be at a certain time and then it's not for an hour or more later and I don't know there's cocktailing involved there's all kinds of things and then excuses being made and it's like, no, I just don't operate that way. If I tell you you're going to fucking eat at 6 o'clock, you're going to eat at 6 o'clock. And I still don't understand people who, there were five people to eat, there was chicken for 15 or more. And every time the meals get cooked, they get cooked that way. And I just don't understand it. You know, I appreciate people's generosity and in inviting you for dinner and blah, blah, blah. But I cannot fathom that. Why people do it. Because most of that's going to end up in the trash. Oh, we just got buzzed by a bee. And another thing that really just gets to me in general is it sucks being able to remember things sometimes because you see how many people don't and whatever the reason it is that they don't, it can be frustrating for me. Well, what do you say? What do you do? It's a beautiful morning. I'm here with my loves. The birds are singing. And we're going to have a cup of coffee and say our prayers and get through another day. Mackie came back out. You're going to come down, Max? we got to give you your medicine. He ate his glucosamine this morning. Oh, boy. Yeah, one of the things that came up yesterday that irritated me was my old pet peeve of being called Mikey. And it was someone that I said that, oh, I didn't know that. It's like, it's always that way. And I shouldn't even be saying that now because anybody that might happen to watch this is going to know that, find that out, and just do it to get a rise out of me. And that's what pisses me off, too. 
I don't know. I just operate different than people. I know that. If somebody tells me I'm doing something that irritates them, generally I will just stop doing whatever that is. And I would just expect and hope I'd get the same courtesy, but it don't work that way. It just doesn't work that way. It doesn't matter. All that matters is this Michael right here and that good cup of coffee and grandfather's sun is rising and it's gonna be another hopefully beautiful summer day. What are you thinking, Sully? Sam, you gonna come back out, honey? We gotta get you your pill. So anyway, we're back. Welcome back, and I don't really mean that. Um, I did get a swim in last night. That's the first time I've been swimming this year. I don't really count that plunge at Rockport on May 12th this swimming. I did do it twice, and I was in and out of the water fairly fast, as it was 41 degrees, the water. But I did go for a nice swim last night. My way of swimming, you know, whether it be Lake Huron or out at Long Lake where I was, is to swim from shore to where it's over my head and float around out there a little bit and then swim back without stopping. Might do it again today. Oh boy. Oh, we read to the loves when we came back yesterday. We did that during the time we came home to regroup after we biked back to town. I can't remember. It seems like I did something else. Got entertained by Hodge Twin videos on YouTube and people fed up with the Just Stop Oil protesters. Oh, what a world, what a society, what a species we are. We're plugging away at our readings and prayers. Sitting here now, Maxie's back, Sully's still here. Hey Max, we gave Max his medicine, we gave Sam his pill, Sammy's getting a drinky. What are you thinking, Mackie? Hmm, Bubby? Got about a cup and a half of coffee left. Put some glasses on. Isn't this exciting? Your life is complete now that you've known that or found that information out. Mackie's coming to get the plum spot. You gonna sit with me, Bubby? Come on, Max. Oh, Mackie. Oh, I love you, Bubby. How could you not love that little face? Oh, he's a sweet boy. Yeah, you are, Mackie. There's some city chickens cooing. They must be up on a roof somewhere. Anyway, I'm going to take another break. Look who's making an appearance. It's Poppy. Alias Tammy, alias Samuel. How are you, sweetheart? Come on, see me. You doing good? Sully just went off on an adventure. He's been walking around the yard and sniffing around. Now he's over at the neighbors. Look at Sam. Oh, Sammy, you sweet good boy. Mackie's sitting here with me purring. There's Mackie. Look at Mackie. We're looking around our our realm here, our kingdom, and see the lawn needs mowing, but guess what? It's Sunday, and it's a sin to do that on Sundays. You can get a a dispensation, I think it is, to do that afternoon, but I'm not going to do that. It's definitely a Monday-type job. Bobby Sullivan's coming back. Uh-oh, something else caught his attention now. Uh-oh. Who knows what that could be. He's certainly the king of his jungle. They all are, though, aren't you, Poppy and Mackie? Princess Elsie's inside sleeping, and she just isn't a morning person anymore. So anyway, time for another break. Well, look who's made an appearance. It's the princess. How are you, Else? How are you, honey? You gonna come see us? Come on, baby. What are you thinking, sweetie? Are you doing all right? Are you okay, sweetheart? What a pretty girl you are. That's my lady over there. Oh, she's had enough of that. She says, I'm out of here. All right. 
Well, we're back for our closing segment. Maxie's on the move. Maxie's on the move. What's he doing? Sammy's still here, cuddled up nice. Look at Poppy. Oh, he's on the move now. Sammy's on the move. Looks like he's going to have a little breakfast. Sully's over here. I can't remember if Princess went inside or she's still outside. But this is working pretty good just sitting here doing nothing. And I think I might go make some more coffee. I got an iced coffee in the fridge waiting to go. But yeah, we're just going to hang here for a bit and I think make up this day as it goes along. We will not need to get out to Long Lake to water the trees and maybe transplant another one or two. But I think that's all we have for right now. So from the cold gray ashes and coals of my cold black heart, my broken, beaten, battered, bruised, bloody, burdened, empty, hollow, cracked, shattered, hopeless, forsaken, and forlorn soul, piss off, happy Sunday, and thanks for not tuning in.